Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and this is video four of our ultimate space mesh setup. In this one, we are getting Grafana working. Um, I have Grafana installed already, and it's actually really simple to install. And just like in my introduction video, I specified that I'm using the laptop that I'm recording this video on to monitor my nodes. So I am going to actually install Grafana on my laptop. This isn't going to be installed on my main host. If you're running uh, like Ubuntu desktop or you know just Windows and it's on the same computer as your main host, you would just install Grafana there. But for me, I would um, just go to Grafana. Actually, I have a link right here. Grafana, there's a downloads page and you're just going to want to download Grafana and choose your operating system and just follow the instructions here. It's pretty uh, quick and easy. Uh, you can see you would just be installing some dependencies. You'll download the actual uh, Debian file and then you just install it. But I have Windows, so I literally just installed the installer and then ran the .msi file. And once that's installed, it's gonna be on localhost 3000. And you'll, you'll see something initially different than mine. You need to log in, and it's uh, username's admin, password is admin. And, and this is running on your local network, of course. We have local host up here. <clears throat> and then we can move into setting up our data. All right, I'm back. I have the worst mic in the world. It likes to shut off randomly. <laughs> so if you've seen any of my other videos, you've probably seen this happen before. Okay, let's jump into the article here. We've installed Grafana. We've gone to localhost 3000. Next, we're going to set up our connection to Prometheus because I said before Prometheus is sort of a middleman between our metrics publishers and our dashboard. And so all of our like Cadvisor, our nodes, our space mesh nodes in the future, node exporter, they're all publishing metrics to Prometheus, and then Prometheus will feed that to Grafana. So we're gonna set up a connection. So let's go into Grafana, this little hamburger icon, connections, and we're gonna add a new connection, and we're gonna type in Prometheus, and then we're gonna do add new data source. And we're going to put in the URL for Prometheus. So what it's going to be is actually that same URL without the targets, uh, without you know any of the other URL part, but just the IP address and the port. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in here so we can see Prometheus server URL. And I'm just going to say this is Zulu Prometheus. And you don't need to change anything else. Scroll all the way down to the bottom save and test, and we can see successfully queried the Prometheus API. So now if we go to data sources, and yes, I have a bunch of other ones here. These are my main hosts. I've already got them set up, but we now have Zulu Prometheus listed down here. Let's jump back to the article. And now we need to create our dashboard. So what we're going to do is go to the hamburger icon again, dashboards, we're going to do new, and then we're going to do import. And that's because there's dashboards already built out. So if we go to um, just search Grafana dashboards and click that first link here, we can see there's a bunch of um, dashboards already created. So if you have uh, Jira and you want a dashboard and you're, you already have it set up to put metrics on uh, Prometheus or Grafana, you could actually just import a dashboard that somebody's already built. Now we're going to use actually this first one here, node exporter full. So if I click that, I see that there's an ID associated with it. So we're just going to copy the ID to clipboard, go back to Grafana and paste in that ID and then click load. Now I already have, uh, because I have three 
other hosts reporting metrics with other data sources. I've already used this dashboard and it's trying to use this um, ID that's already in use. So it's saying here my Bravo node exporter is already using that. So we're going to click change ID. For you, you won't have to do this if you don't have something already running, but I'm just going to put Zulu in front of it. And I'm going to rename this to Zulu node exporter. It's going to be the dashboard name. I'm going to just keep it in my general folder. You can actually create folders if you're going to have multiple hosts. And then we need to select our data source. So I've got a bunch listed here. You might only have one if this is your first one. I'm just going to click Zulu because that's the one we just created. And then I'm going to click import. And already we have our metrics being reported. So this is my host that I have set up. There's a lot of RAM on this one. Uh, this is actually like a Chia plotter that I usually use. Uh, but we can see the size of the root file system. It's not getting the cores, which is kind of weird. I'm not too sure why it's not getting the cores. Um, which is interesting. Uh, I might have to check that out. But typically, like if I go to uh, like alpha node exporter, it's showing the cores correctly. I, I have no idea why it wouldn't be showing the cores correctly for that other uh, node, but that's fine. Hopefully for you, it's showing correctly. Um, you might have to do a little bit of research if it's not to see you know, why some of these are NA. Like everything in here is modifiable, so you can go into edit and you can update certain things. Um, there's tons of different metrics that you can get. So let's move on to the next thing, which is we also in installed Cadvisor. So let's go to dashboards again. We're gonna click new import and just like before um, we're going to install the uh, CAD visor so I already have it saved here 14282 we're gonna click load again I already have this in use so I'm gonna do change ID I'm gonna do Zulu we're gonna select our data source and I'm gonna say this is Zulu CAD visor and we're gonna keep it in the general folder import Awesome. So we can see now we have metrics, um, CPU usage per container. So we can see we have Cadvisor, Portainer, and Prometheus here, and we can see the percentage of CPU they are using. Now, both of these aren't working, and I was able to get them working again by just editing them. So this is probably what I'm going to have to do for um, the cores and the other one. But edit, and in this article, if you scroll down, there's two um, queries here you can copy. So the first one is for the uh, memory section. So control C, let's go into, I'm gonna close this. And I'm in memory usage, so control V, click run query, and you can see, boom, it's already getting the memory usage, and then hit apply and you are good to go. Now this one's also not working, so go in here, click edit. There's a separate command, so we did the top one. Now we're gonna do the bottom one. And then we're gonna just run back in here. We're gonna just replace this. Hit run query, awesome. We are getting our cache for each of them. Click apply and we're good to go, but one more thing we want to do is click the actual save dashboard because we want to save the updates. Click save current uh, variables and values. Click save. We're good to go. And actually, I like to do last hour. And I like to do auto refresh to one minute. Click save again. Save current time range as dashboard default. Click that box. Click save. And now if I were to go back to dashboards and then come back in, I already have my last hour. It's refreshing by one and all of our graphs are working. So we can see network traffic, we can see um, how long they've been running for, memory, My the most important thing for me is CPU usage and memory usage, because if we go into like a one that I have a bunch of nodes running already, I can see the memory usage and CPU usage for all of these. And it says 100% here, but this is like one core. So I'm literally using 100% of one core and I have 48 uh, on this computer. So it, it looks like it's using a lot, but it's really using a little.
and then I can see it's using uh, for actual actual memory usage I'm using you know just over 20 uh, gigabytes it looks like and then for with the cached memory it uses a little bit more so almost 23 gigabytes and I can see all the network traffic for each of the nodes so we have that all set up that is going to be the end of video four we have Grafana going in the next one finally we are starting to work on our nodes. So I will see you in the next video.